television, in fact. And I know you've been involved in this, and one of the people you've worked with was Marlon Brando. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to be on that same show. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, about uh, Gary DeVore, the missing screenwriter who drowned the California aqueduct. That was my case. And I'm going to reopen that. I don't believe I don't believe in somebody drowning in the desert. It just doesn't set well with me. Uh, <laughs> uh, and which is why you're a private eye. Private <laughs> but talk to us about Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando, um, uh, two things he should have never done, and that was have kids or go on the Larry King show. Uh, I'm telling uh, you. But I'm going to tell you something. I love the guy. He treated me good. I would have taken a bullet for him. I mean, he treated me like part of the family. What did you do for him? I lived at the house. Uh, it was a dysfunctional family, but I was part of it. I used to take, I used to take care of Christian. We, we, we had a child custody battle, and he mm -hmm. was a little boy then. I used to take him to school. I lived at the house. Uh, we had, uh, uh, you know. Marlon uh, hired you to watch his son? Yeah. Well, I also had to watch uh, Marlon at the time because it was the biggest story of that particular year. And I was like 22 years old, I guess. And uh, uh, it was just a big thrill, you know. And Christian was a wild kid, and I mean, I taught him. Uh, you know, I was like his uh, surrogate father. Where is would, he now? He kind of uh, disappeared. He's around uh, whatever okay. up north in Oregon and stuff like that. But, you know, I said, this kid's never going to see 21. Well, he's 40-something. Look where the hell he's been, though, mm -hmm. you know? How did you get involved in private? Now, tell us your thoughts on Robert Blake and his, what you're saying is his involvement in the death of his wife, Bonnie. Uh, well, I, you know, uh, it's, it, she might have had a lot of people that wanted to kill her. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's what, what they try and paint. Uh, wanting to kill somebody and having the opportunity is uh, two different things. He takes her to a restaurant that he hangs at. He parks the car block away in, in a, uh, a place where there's no light, uh, walks in there. Now, he's, he's afraid for her life. That's why he's carrying a gun, which, incidentally, if I'd been the chief that issued that permit, I, would, I wouldn't sleep well if I'd give him a permit to carry a slingshot. Do you but, have evidence that he had any involvement other than the speculation? No, I mean, it, it's just he had the opportunity. He, he leaves her isolated, goes back to get his gun, so he says, nobody mm -hmm. sees him come back. There's nobody else around. And if you really were concerned about her, why would you leave her isolated in the car while you go back? You know, it doesn't well, make sense. Well, your book, Confessions of a Hollywood P.I. Learn more about Blake's murdered wife from the victim herself. Who would you go for more if you were me, Blake or Christian? The voice is Bonnie Bakley, and the phone conversations she recorded provide extraordinary insight into her bizarre life. You can hear her wondering out loud who she should date, 67-year-old Robert Blake or 43-year-old Christian Brando, son of acting legend Marlon Brando. Probably feel safer with Blake because Christian, it could go off, right? <laughs> Remember how wacky he was? Blake's own attorney released the tapes reportedly made by Bakley last year before a paternity test confirmed Blake was the father of her daughter. On the tape, Bakley says she is certain that Christian Brando is the father, but she fears that he may not be ready for fatherhood. He may not have the patience because he's used to, like, partying and having fun. But Bakley also sees problems with Blake, who has admitted battling drugs and suffering childhood abuse. A man identified on the tape as Ray says she wouldn't get a dime out of Blake and he would use her for sex. He seems like, I don't know, he's, got, he's real short-tempered. It's really clear from the tapes she was life. torn between Blake and the younger Brando. Yeah. I'm already in love with Christian, so I should just leave it like that. And then I said, yeah, but it's kind of neat to have a movie star stuck on me, so maybe I should go for him, right? <laughs> so then I went for him. And then, you know, damned if I didn't end up more stuck on him than me, I think. You know, Blake like, married Bakley last November after he learned he was the father of her baby. The couple settled here at Blake's Studio City home, but it wasn't your typical marriage. Blake's wife lived in separate quarters behind the main house. And not far from here, cops reportedly found the gun used to kill Bakley, a Walther PPK similar to this one. Don Crutchfield is a private investigator who has used the Walther. It's easy to conceal, and uh, it pretty much...